The Football Story 2030 presents a football legend, Roberto Rosado, born in Chieri on August 18, 1943, and passed away in Chieri on June 20, 2010, was an Italian footballer, playing as a defender. Rosado, nicknamed Angel Face for his gentle traits, was an tireless fighter. He excelled in tackling, heading, and sliding tackles, which were his distinctive technical characteristics. During his career, due to his fervent competitiveness and sometimes borderline challenges, he was mistakenly labeled as a mere rough player, while his undeniable technical and tactical qualities made him one of the strongest and most consistent stoppers in Italian football. Rosato began kicking the ball behind his house, on the dirt field of the Salesian Oratory of San Luigi in Chieri. The talent of that seemingly frail but courageous and determined boy, who could stand his ground even against older rivals, did not go unnoticed by his friend Roberto Manolino, six years his senior and already a key figure in the youth teams of Torino. Manolino seized the opportunity to accompany him for a trial at Philadelphia. Mr. Asello immediately imposed a signing and began to mold him as a central midfielder, nurturing both his growth as a pure marker and his ability to build up the game, a characteristic that later became one of his winning weapons. After completing his journey through the Torino youth system, embellished by a regular presence in the national junior team, Rosato made his Serie A debut at just 17 years old, on April 2, 1961, in Florence, called up by coach Beniamino Santos to replace the injured Siza. Acting as his godfather, as captain in the one-to-one -one draw against Fiorentina was the Vicio Enzo Berzot. He secured a starting position in Torino, alternating in all defensive roles and transforming himself when needed into a midfielder ready to launch the maneuver, thanks to his ambidextrous versatility. A key turning point in his career was the 1963-1964 season, when Orfeo Pianelli took over the Torino presidency and Nerio Rocco became the coach. The Triestein coach took the young Roberto under his protective wing and became almost a second father to him. In the summer of 66, after playing five seasons with Torino and making 131 appearances and scoring four goals, Torino president Pianelli transferred him to Milan in exchange for Trebi, Cesare Maldini, and 400 million lire. He made his debut on September 4, 1966, in a 3-0 away win against Pisa in the Coppa Italia. In his first season with the Rossoneri, he immediately won a Coppa Italia, and the following season reunited with Nerio Rocco, who had meanwhile returned as head coach, winning both a league title and a Cup Winners Cup. In 1968-1969, he added a European Cup and subsequently an Intercontinental Cup to his personal and rossoneri honors. In the former, Rosato distinguished himself for his excellent marking on a young Johan Kruijf in the final, which Milan won 4 to 1 against Ajax. From 1971 to 1973, he won two more Coppa Italia trophies and another Cup Winners Cup with Milan. His last game with the rossoneri was in the Coppa Italia final against Juventus where he played a total of 269 games and scored eight goals. With Milan, he formed one of the strongest defensive units in Rossoneri history alongside players such as Fabio Cutacini, Karlheinz Schnellinger, Angelo Anquiletti, and Giovanni Trapattoni. In the summer of 1973, he transferred to Genoa. In his four seasons with the Ligurian club, he descended once to Serie B and won the second division championship once. At the end of the 1976-1977 season, Rosato retired from professional football. He continued for two more seasons with Aosta, in Serie D, until his definitive retirement in 1979. Internationally, he made his debut in the A national team in 1965 during a match against West Germany. Previously, he had played in the B team and the under-21s, achieving successes such as winning the Mediterranean Games in Naples in 1963. He was nicknamed the Hammer of Hamburg for his exceptional defensive performance against Gerd Muller. Rosato became a regular starter after the disappointing 1966 World Cup in England and was part of the winning team of the 1968 European Championship in Italy. In the 1970 World Cup in Mexico, he came on as a substitute after a teammate's injury and proved to be one of the best defenders of the tournament. He was a key player in the historic semi-final between Italy and West Germany, 
making a crucial goal line clearance, and also played in the final against Brazil. In total, Rosado wore the Italian national team jersey 37 times over eight years. Individually, he is considered one of the strongest Italian defenders. With the national team, he won the European Championship in 1968 and was a World Cup finalist in 1970 with the Italian national team. In the 2000s, he was inducted into the Milan Hall of Fame. Thank you for choosing our channel. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Your engagement is our source of energy. Thank you.